Hey, first grade friends, let's get ready for our foundations. The materials we'll need for today are a piece of paper, a notebook, a piece of cardboard, or something that makes your paper bumpy, and a red crayon. Today's objective is I can identify and read the word family N. So we are going to practice writing and spelling our trick words. So I want you to get a piece of paper ready and your cardboard ready to write the word as. So let's get our paper ready. You need your red crayon. And we're going to write the word as on our paper. So go ahead and do that now. And when we're done writing, we are going to trace, spell, and say the word as. So let's get our pointer fingers ready. Trace A, trace S, as. Let's trace A, S, as. A, S, as. A, -S -S -A -S -S -A -S -S -A S as. Good job. Now next to that, or on a different piece of paper, let's write our next trick word. Our next trick word this week is has. So let's get our cardboard. Place that piece of paper on top of your cardboard and get your red crayon ready. Write the word has. Good, now we're gonna trace, spell, and say the word has. Let's get our pointer fingers ready. Trace H, trace A, trace S, has. H, A, S, has. H, A, S, has. Good. Now let's keep that paper somewhere safe so you can practice at another time. So let's review quickly our trick words. Our trick words are words that cannot be tapped out. They're trying to trick us with the different sounds, remember? So we've learned the, and, a, is, his, of, as, and has. Let's get ready to echo. Remember, when you see echo the owl, you repeat after me. A, apple, a. B, bat, b. C, cat, k. D, dog, d. E, ed, e. F, fun, f. G, game, g. H, hat, h. I, itch, e. J, jug, j. K, kite, k. L, lamp, l. M, man, m. N, nut, n. O, octopus, ah. P, pan, p. Q, u, queen, qu. R, rat, er. S, snake, s. T top t. 
you up a V van V W wind W X fox X Y yellow Y Z zebra Z WH whistle W CH chin ch SH ship sh TH thumb th CK sock k Good now it's time to stretch our vowel sounds. So pause the video and stretch out all your vowel sounds. Ready, go. Good, now we are going to tap out these words and we're going to see what they have in common. So let's tap out this word. Remember, we have a digraph here. Digraphs get one tap because they make one sound. Ready? Wuh, eh, mm, when. So that is how you look at, read, and spell when. Let's do it one more time. Wuh, eh, mm, when. Now let's look at this word. Ready? Hands up. D, eh, mm, den. One more time. D, eh, mm, den. Now let's look at this word. <sighs> eh, mm, hen. One more time. <sighs> eh, mm, hen. Good job. Let's read and tap this word. P, eh, mm, pen. One more time. P, eh, mm, pen. Great. Now this last word, ready? Z, eh, mm, zen. One more time. Z, eh, mm, zen. What do you notice about all of the words that we just tapped out? That's right, they're part of the same Word family. Remember, word families are words that have a common feature or pattern. So all of those words belong to the N family. These are words that all end in the same vowel and consonant sound. So this is a hen, not a chicken, a hen. If I want to make other words, all I have to do is change the first sound and I can make a whole bunch of new words that have the same word family. So I can make hen, I can make ten by making the H into a T. I can make the word when, which is one of the words we just tapped out. I can make then, and I can make men, the name Ken, and the name Jen are also part of the N family. A wren, which is a type of bird, and den, and pen. Those are all part of the word family N. So remember, if you can read hen, you can read ten, den, pen, men, then, when, gen, and even the name Ben. And notice how under my digraphs, I underlined it. Because when we are looking for digraphs, we always underline it. 
So now you're going to try and read and identify the word family hen or n on your own. Have a great day.